Hey guys, Hobbs here, bringing you another video, this one being of Planet Side 2 and some other gameplay you see me in a max suit just romping around, and this video is, you know, another Honest Hobbs episode where it's me talking about, not quite about games, just something that's really been pressing on my mind for a long time, and the one that, and the one thing that's really been pressing on my mind for a long time is that, I don't know if you guys know, but I've seen, uh, but I've actually been a fan of Markiplier for a little while, and I remember him talking about, like, if you've seen any of his videos about him talking about his channel, how, where he's come from, how thankful he is to his fans, and, you know, it really got me thinking about you guys and how I haven't really been as active as I used to, even though it's a, I am a much smaller fan base than Markiplier, uh, I'm not gonna lie, but that doesn't mean that you are any less important to me, and realize that lately I've been kind of letting you guys down on some regards because I haven't been posting as many videos as I used to. I mean, I used to be able to be making like tutorials and stuff every week. I'd be posting uh, uh, like every new tutorial for every mech on Hawken every week. And in fact, I haven't even been on Hawken for a long time. I've just been playing Planet Side 2. Not that I'm saying Planet Side 2 is kind of a bad thing. It's really complicated and I kind of want to be able to get this through with you guys. And uh, now, I know that there are limitations to what I was able to do. Like, right now, I got a new microphone. Awesome. That's one limitation that's kind of out of the way. But then the second limitation is, of course, my PC unit, which has been a little bit of a problem, I agree, yes. And it has been kind of hampering my progress. It does make it a really, really frustrating to try and play and record at the same time. Because, you know, if I try to play uh, and record at the same time, not only, like, the recording's bad, but then I also won't be able to play as well because I'm getting, like, maybe 15, 20 frames a second outside of a fight when I'm trying to record this for you guys, which can make it really frustrating for me, but I think one of the main things really is that it's more of, like, a mental thing for me lately because, quite honestly, while video games are fun and everything, we can't forget our own reality because once you forget about if you forget about the life you're supposed to lead outside of video games things will kind of start to fall apart and unfortunately that was a mistake that I started to make now when I said I had made this mistake it was because I had literally ignored everything else in my life other than you know like I would go to school and then you know I just waste my time at school I'd just be playing video games and as I said before when I, I said I had access to really good computers before that was because I was going to an animation school however I played more video games than I did like this things I was supposed to do for my animation school and then in turn because of that I no longer was able to continue playing with those really good computers and make good recordings for you guys and then well I guess you could say things kinda just fell apart from there because well obviously that was a big kick in the cojones for me because you know the animation the drawing it was something I honestly love to do and I love to like you know draw do animation like storytelling was something I was really really passionate about you know I wanted to go to school it was like there's no other school for me and then I managed to just completely flunk out because I couldn't keep myself disciplined enough to simply, you know, do my assignments. Assignments that was literally drawing. Stuff that I like to do. I was just completely placing myself into the video games way, way more than I should have. Now, I'm not saying that video games and, you know, other kind of media and stuff like that is a bad thing. Like, I love video games, movies, storytelling. Like I said, it was something I was really, really passionate about. I mean, it's it was a, it's an amazing creative outlet for you to be able to try to explore your own uh, yeah, your own uh, yeah, that was a bit of a blooper right there. But you could really explore your own mind, or somebody, or see how somebody else likes to view the world, or see the world that they were creating inside of their heads. I honestly really enjoy that. That's why I really love video games, movies, and art as I do, because I do like to try and imagine all these immense worlds and all these cool and exciting things myself as well but um, you know we do have to remember that we live here on this planet called earth unfortunately but and if we forget that we start to complete and if we lose our grip on our reality then things will just fall apart before us which it really did for me as I said I started to I basically flunked out of the one thing I knew from the start of when I went into college, I knew this was the thing that I was going to do when I got older. I was going to be an animator. I was going to be drawing, telling stories, everything. And now I ended up at 
community college wondering what the hell I'm going to do. And yeah. The end result of it being was that I let my dreams slide out of my hands because I was playing too many video games. Because what it was is that, you know, to do your dreams and stuff, you have to be able to do things you don't want to do. And quite frankly, it's just easier to just play video games because, you know, with video games, I mean, come on, you're getting to shoot people, you have fun, there's all sorts of exciting things going on around, and it's just so much more attractive than reality sometimes. And, you know, while I'm not saying that you shouldn't ever play video games because of this, it is something that you do have to be weary of. Because if you just spend all your time inside of the video games and not worrying about real life, real life is going to come slap you in the face when you don't want to. And that was basically me flunking out of that uh, animation school. I, that was essentially me losing my dream at one point. And yeah, it, it is an unfortunate thing that can happen, but if you allow yourself to be totally distracted and undisciplined in that manner, it can really have bad side effects. Now, just as a warning to anybody who is literally playing like video games at least like five, six hours a day like I was, that's something you really need to be weary of because, you know, if you let Rhea- it's like an ostrich putting its head in the sand when a lion is charging at it. Yeah, you might not be able to see the lion anymore, you choose not to see the lion, but that doesn't mean the lion's not about to eat you, and that's essentially what I was doing with all these video games. I was putting my head further and further into the sand, refusing to acknowledge that I had all these problems going on around me. Instead, instead of dealing with them, I just let them become a bigger, bigger issue until nowadays, where it's just became much, it became a much bigger issue than it really should have been. Like, heck, it got into my video games, like, I can't play video games like I was able to before on those really awesome computers because, you know, I let myself be completely absorbed and I didn't do my schoolwork. And, well, you guys are probably all wondering what does this have to do with you guys. Well, this is me saying I'm sorry that I let myself become just, you know, completely distracted and lose sight of what I originally wanted to do. Uh, like, I originally wanted to create these videos for you guys. And, you know, make sure that we're all having fun, we're sharing these things together. But lately, I've just been isolating myself so much inside of these video games that I've hardly been putting out videos or anything for you guys. You know, I want to be able to do more for you guys. Especially because I've been, as I said, I watch Markiplier's things, you know. He, honestly, how much he cares about his fans. It really made me think about you guys again and how much that, like, I should be able to do this for you guys. I should be able to get at least a video for you every couple of days. Because uh, I know I am able to do that, and yet I choose not to, which is obviously, it, it's a problem on my end, yes, I agree. And this is essentially my pledge to you, that I am sorry, and I will try my best to not isolate myself so much, to try and create more for you guys, do more for you, because in the end of it all, I mean, you know, it's going to benefit both of us. We're sharing experiences together, which is the whole point of playing games I mean, we always play like these big multiplayer games so we can play with others and share our experiences instead of just completely isolating ourselves, which is what I had been doing. And so, the end of this saying is that I want to be able to try and make at least one video for you guys every three or four days. I want to try and keep to a, a schedule like that because I do have school and I do have things that I do need to get done, but I know I definitely have the ability, like once every four days, I can do that pretty simply and then yes I'm still working towards that new computer don't worry it's gonna be like about another three or four paychecks and I'll be able to get like a really good computer set up and without you know having to completely <laughs> toss out my wallet just in case you know something happens because you know life will happen whether or not you want it to but yeah like easily another month or two months I'll definitely have a new computer by then and if not well you know what, I'll probably just have to go up and steal a computer or something, I don't know at that point. But yeah, another two months for sure, I'll prob I'll definitely be getting myself another a new computer. But yeah, currently as I'm waiting for my new computer, I will still continue to make videos like once every three, four days. It'll definitely be a bit more casual stuff because I want to save like tutorial making for, you know, when I actually get a good computer, I can get really good frame rates and good quality as well, make it a bit more professional looking because, you know, who doesn't want to look professional? when you're making actual tutorials and whatnot. But as for the, but yeah, you'll probably see casual episodes, usually me running ops with my in, my outfit or, you know, either on Vanu or NC. And I will have to admit, I'm starting to become more of a freedom fighter than, you know, one with the spandex, so... Yeah. And speaking of stuff for planet side, there's this really cool clip of me and a mag rider gunner. Well, I'm, dr I'm driving at this point, and we managed to take out three prowlers with us before, you know, as we went down. So, you know, one mag rider for three prowlers, it was pretty awesome, but yeah. 
that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope it wasn't just me rambling on. You know, you guys are my fans. I love you guys. And I wanted to make sure that you guys knew what was going on, what was in the loop. So I hope you guys were able to enjoy this and you'll enjoy my future videos. But for now, this is Hobbs signing off and I will see you on the next one.